N quadrilateral WXYZ, triangle WYZ is congruent to triangle YWX. Is WXYZ a parallelogram? Explain. And there's lots of letters, and this is like, okay, wait, but draw a picture. All right, draw a picture would definitely help you. I'm going to draw um, the quadrilateral as if it was a parallelogram, just to kind of help me really visualize it. Um, but it, we don't know for sure that it is a parallelogram. All right, so W, X, Y, and Z. All right, and then we have W, Y, Z. That's one triangle. So that means I want to connect W and Y. I want to make a um, diagonal there. And then the other one, Y, W, X. Okay, so those are our two triangles, right? Y, W, Z, or I guess it's labeled the W, Y, Z, and Y, W, X. Those are your two triangles that are congruent to each other. So what we need to remember is if they're congruent to each other, we, have, we can use C, P, C, T, C, or corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. So if we know the two triangles are congruent, we can make all their corresponding parts also congruent. So we could make all of their sides congruent. Um, that may be an easy way to go about doing this, right? So go in order, make sure you're being careful with it. So W, Y, the first two vertices of our first triangle, that segment is congruent to Y, W, right? Which we can see right here because they are the same segment. Um, and then, actually I'm going to use three hash marks on that one. If we move to the next one, WZ is congruent, our first and our third, to Y, oops, YX. The first and the third of um, the second one. So if we go back to our figure, WZ and YX are congruent to each other. And then the last one, if we look at our second and our third, YZ is congruent to our second or third or other one, WX. So YZ is our top segment and WX is our bottom segment. So what we can see here, the most important part, is this and this and this and this. And we didn't have to do it using the sides, but this helps us um, because we can use one of our theorems. Let me remember what the name of it is. Theorem 8-7, right? Theorem 8-7 um, tells us that if we have opposite or non-consecutive, right, if both um, pairs of opposite or non-consecutive sides are congruent, right, then we have a parallelogram. And that's what we have right in that picture, right? Our top and our bottom sides are congruent to each other. Our left and our right sides are congruent to each other. So that means that we do have a parallelogram. So, yes, um, W, X, Y, Z is a parallelogram. And so what you would want to do um, if you were explaining this all out in words, you know, you would use all of this stuff. You'd also use um, these two um, pairs of segments congruent by doing CPCTC. And you, know, you could use your picture to help you, um, but those are all the different parts that we would go through explaining out in words in this, um, a paragraph. Like I would say by CPCTC, and then I would list this segment is congruent to this segment, and this segment is congruent to, congruent to that segment. So yes, WXYZ is a parallelogram because theorem 8.7 says um, if both pairs of opposite sides are congruent, then it's a parallelogram. So putting all of those together into one um, paragraph or a few sentences.